I want to talk about some good comic books. So we are going to move into our first segment of the night where we are going to be recommending a comic book to you guys. Like I like we talked about in a previous episode, we are going to be recommending comic books at least once a month. And I want that episode to be the first episode of every month. So we're going to do this every month. And then we might increase it from there because it's going to be a lot of fun. So Knox, since you're you're the newest guest on the podcast, I want you to go first and sure. let the fans know what comic you recommend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you. Um, <clears throat> you guys ever heard of Marvel Ruins? Yes. Yeah, heard so of I was, it. I was just talking shit Actually, about, yeah, I didn't pick that one, though. I, I was just heard of it, but, about Mar- 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 <laughs> yeah. heard of it, but I don't know much about it, though. I'll be honest about that. It's heard good. Of it, though. It's, re- it's a really cool story. I was just talking shit about Warren Ellis like five minutes ago, and then I recommend something by him, which is... Like, <laughs> but uh, but no, I, dude, I love Warren Ellis, dude. I love his run on um, Moon Knight with Declan Shalvey. That's like my favorite Moon Knight run, dude. That art is some of my, the best comic book art you'll ever see. Um, and, and I, dude, Warren Ellis is good, man. But I just don't like the boys. Anyway... <clears throat> Ruins is tight. It basically says, uh, it basically says like, what if the Marvel universe, um, it, it, I mean, I, the, the tagline on it is like everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But it, what it really is, is just like, you know, the Marvel universe, if like things happen, like for real, like in the real world, like if like, you know, the Hulk got hit with the gamma bomb, you know, he wouldn't really turn into the Hulk. He'd turn into like a puddle of goo. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, it, it's basically like goes through, you know, origin stories of characters and says like, well, what would happen if Spider-Man actually did get bitten by a radioactive spider? Like, sure, you might get like a boost of some kind of chemical in your brain, but then you'll literally just start rotting away because it's fucking radiation, you know, like things like that. You know what I mean? I don't want to, spo- I don't really want to talk about it too much because literally everything that happens is kind of a spoiler because it like kind of like spins our perception of, um, Magneto, you know, of these characters. Shit. like in, in a, a million awesome. different directions but but yeah it's really cool it's very like you know it's warren ellis so you can expect like a lot of like really dark like dystopian like stuff you know what i mean so it's only two issues read that shit bro i haven't read it so i'm definitely gonna check it's it out tight. it's, it's dope. like so like it's drawn so cool and like i, I don't remember who does the art but it's like i'm starting it's really at the cover a lot of moments where like good. oh that sucks yeah. but that's yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah it, it explores things like um oh wait no no, no i can't even i can't don't even say it yep yeah. Yeah. yeah, because one of the cover I'm, yeah, read yeah. that shit though. One of the cover I'm staring at is um book two, and that's Magneto in the cover, and I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, this mm-hmm. is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Ray, you want to go next? Yes, and now I have the really hard job because I'm like, now I have to pick one of the three, and so <laughs> um, I'm actually probably just gonna go with uh, my gut, which is uh, if you're not reading the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers run, uh, specifically Shattered Grid. Oh yes. I heard it's so good. I'm going to need you mm-hmm. to do this. Imagine if the Power Rangers went beyond the cheesy stuff that was on TV, but uh, they instead turned it into a badass hmm, comic, but it read like a manga. Yeah. This is so what you get. Uh, I would like to show you hmm, one panel in particular uh, where the Green Ranger uh, knocks a cannon off of a, a you know an enemy mech and picks it up to shoot at the other mech oh, because shit. he's a badass. Oh, That's, That's awesome. Too. That's yeah, awesome. my, my group chat my group chat talks about that that power Listen, group run that comic is actually like outside of like you know main comic stuff that's one of my favorite things like it is so that's from dark horse right good uh yeah this is from boom actually oh boom um, okay yeah yeah it's very 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 good and i, I have a good i've just i've been a power Rangers fan you know all my life but this was like one of the things that like a power Rangers that actually kind of like aged up with me which was awesome so i like it recommended fully yeah i i, I second that third that that is such a great run. Chris, oh, yeah. what about you? So my recommendation is for people that maybe haven't read a ton of Marvel comics. Maybe they really like the X-Men. They don't know a lot about them and they want to know a lot about the X-Men, but they don't want to read a Wikipedia article because that's boring AF, right? So the book that I'm going to recommend is Ed Pisker's X-Men Grand Design. Nice. Uh, uh, he both writes and draws this comic. And it's essentially, like I said, it covers X-Men, all their, their entire history in chronological order from the 60s all the way up to the 90s. And it has this like really sick pop art to it. Uh, he's also famous for writing and illustrating, um, what is it? 
is it a hip hop family tree? I think, mm-hmm. but I mean, just to give you a, a taste of what it kind of looks like. I feel it's like, Chip, like, I feel like Chip Zdarsky just did this with Spider-Man like not too long ago too. So Marvel has a thing for kind of like taking yeah. their history and like reformatting it. Right. Mm-hmm. Chip Zdarsky did. I, I love Spider-Man life story. Yeah. I dude, would life also story recommend that as well. Peak, peak and, uh, Zdarsky and his in May, one. in May, I believe Marvel's also going to be releasing a fantastic four life story, which I'm super pumped about. Hell yeah. but, yes, they are. Uh, Can't wait for that one. Yeah, Didn't they do I a Fantastic Four version design. of this too? Didn't, they, isn't, there, isn't there a Fantastic Four version of this? There is a Fantastic Four yeah. Grand Design. I have was. not read it, and I don't mm-hmm. believe it's Ed Pisker. But um, yeah, the, when something hits with them, like if it's popular, they're yeah. going to try to do it with different see it characters. All over the place. Yeah, yeah. And that's so, such a brilliant idea. You know, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way easier way to digest something than just like sitting at your computer, like scrolling over a wiki page, you know? Yeah, that's an amazing <laughs> so. recommendation, dude. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Vash, you're up. My turn for me is this one Forever Evil. Let's go. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, Jeff shit. John. Nice. Um, yes this is, this is such a good run like it gives you the different perspective of lex luther black adam the best lex uh, luther i've ever read that i've yes. ever read Thank ever you. period yes. and it's not close what's up chat yes so, <laughs> we'll argue about um, this <laughs> i love this run and i wish there was more that i need to find out if, if there's more please tag me on twitter tell me there's more about this run of other characters that i want to see of black adam and lex luther and everything because you find different versions of Lois, um, Superman, aka Ultraman, and everything. Such an interesting run. I don't want to give too much spoilers about it because it's such a good story. Like Knox was so hype about about Lex and everything. You find like him and his persona of why he has this vision of the world and with his armor, with the crew, and how he's a how he is as such as as a leader. So so good. So yeah. I really suggest it's an amazing deconstruction of Lex. Yeah. So I really suggest this storyline of Forever Evil. Yeah, great recommendations. Um, I am going to go with yes. one of my favorites. Gotta go with Age of Ultron. Nice. Oh, the comic. Like, Dude, I'm yes. so happy that you are recommending this right now. Good. This is yeah. so I'm glad. important. That makes JD. me happy. This is so like, important. Ugh, this especially is especially right now. This, yeah, this this miniseries is one of the reasons why I love Ultron so much. This is my favorite Ultron story. And I absolutely, I'm absolutely obsessed with time travel yes. and just when like fucking around right. with it, when it's done right and yeah. just fucking around with the mm-hmm. universe a little bit. Yeah. So what I like the most about Age of Ultron is it's it's this weird amalgamation of Days of Future Past yeah. and Flashpoint. Yeah. And I fucking <laughs> love it. Like Ultron has taken over the world. He has murdered most of the Marvel heroes in the universe and our heroes have to time travel backwards or forwards in time to figure out how to stop Ultron. It is, again, it is one of my favorite Marvel runs. Again, it is one of the reasons why Ultron is one of my favorite Marvel villains. It is such a great miniseries. The art is amazing. Uh, the writer, Brian Michael Bendis, does such Goat. a good job with the dialogue and how the story is told in Age of Ultron. I absolutely love it. It is also another reason why I don't like the MCU Age of Ultron. Oh, yeah. Of course, I didn't expect it to follow that storyline. Of course, it's in name my only. Issue, Drastically, yeah. my my I, issue. I wish that it did. Yeah, my my but issue like with it. Only. My issue with it is I my Ultron is the cold, calculated machine. Yes. Ultron. Yeah. What's up with all I, this charisma? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, love, that, I love that, that actor. Was okay, I love yeah. that actor. I can't Baby remember his name. His voice is amazing. Yeah, his Davy voice Jones, is... right? Davy Jones, dude. I, yeah, I, no, I James Spader. Like, no, uh, yeah, that's Spader. Bill Nye. Yeah, Bill Nye. So it's this James is James Spader, the one that does it. Uh, I, I wish that it had been that cold, calculating voice because he does that so well too. Like those in Blacklist, he's amazing as that person. He's, He's amazing. amazing. As my my issue, Blacklist. my issue with that Ultron is that Ultron is just a petulant child lashing out at his dad. Like, That's I did true. not yep. like the Ultron, like Tony Stark version of Ultron. I that didn't really work dig for it, me. <laughs> I, 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 I get it, man. Like James Spader is awesome. Learning how to design... <laughs> hate humanity instantly. <laughs> Oh yeah, James Spader. James Spader's so fucking charismatic in that movie that I don't care. Yes. That is true. I hated that version they of Ultron. They just could have done a lot more with him. I'll be honest. They really could have. I agree like, because up. because of James Spader, I like that movie. But if it wasn't James Spader, I would have not liked it because he has that nice personality and that nice holy charisma that gave Ultron a persona. But that mm-hmm. wasn't 
the but that wasn't and i mean the if he had downloaded character. our current internet which he did he might have had he, he might have been a little bit of a you know sarcastic asshole which works for me you know <laughs> that does oh, make yeah. sense that, that i'm, o- that I'm okay sense. i'm okay with the personality i just have a preference and again it's just the the oh, yeah. petulant tony stark child that bugged me a lot like he was just whining it. for most of the movie i'm like this is not ultron bro like this yeah. is not the devastation and the level that ultron has brought to the marvel universe right it would be cool if this was like his intro it would be cool if that like that was his intro you know character arc and then you kept using him but like marvel just kills all their villains and like doesn't give them any progression i was legitimately hoping for that and we'll talk about something later that i really wanted to see but we didn't get but yeah i know Um, what you're gonna bring up yep how about the white vision yep (laughs) 